Hello military lovers, this time we will discuss one of the unique tanks that are still being defended by Germany, namely the Wiesel tank. The Wiesel is a German light air transportable armored fighting vehicle, more specifically a lightly armored weapons carrier. The vehicle was named Wiesel, Wiesel, because of its small size and agility, which make it very difficult to detect on the battlefield. Tank Wiesel Awolnia was developed for the German army to meet a requirement for an air transportable light armored vehicle for use by its airborne troops, as the infantry of the German Bundeswehr, especially airborne infantry, were considered unprepared to successfully fight enemy main battle tanks, MBT, in the 1970s. The Wiesel was finally introduced as new weapon system for the Bundeswehr with deliveries beginning in the late 1980s. Legendary car company Porsche initially led the project and, due to foreign interest in the vehicle, continued work even after the Heer abandoned its plans for the vehicle in 1975. The German army ultimately returned to the Wiesel and bought its first batch in 1985, becoming the only country to adopt the type, whereas Rheinmetall took over series production and built more than 340 examples before the line went cold in 1993. In 2001, the Heer purchased nearly 180 lengthened Wiesel IIs. Variants The Wiesel I was produced since 1990 until 1992 to 1993. Wiesel I tank is very unique because it has a long is about 3.55 meters long, 1.82 meters high, and 1.82 meters wide. Weighing just 2.75 metric tons, it weighs less than the armored variant of the US Humvee military light truck. The engine is a 64 kilowatts Audi 2.1 liter diesel engine which provides a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour, 45 miles per hour. The Wiesel can wait as deep as 0.5 meters and across a 1.2 meters trench. The chassis is made of steel armor and can resist the common 5.56 millimeters and 7.62 millimeters small arms ammunition. The Wiesel can easily be flown in by transport helicopters, a single CH-53C Stallion helicopter can fly in two at once, and common transport planes can carry four or more Wiesel vehicles. The Wiesel 2 is a stretched version of the Wiesel 1, with a fifth road wheel. The engine was changed to a 1.9 liters Volkswagen inline four cylinder turbo diesel with direct injection and intercooler, giving 109 horsepower coupled to a ZF automatic transmission. Generally bigger, faster, and stronger with advanced features for the protection of the crew, such as enhanced armor, an air conditioning system, and NBC protection. Like its predecessor, the Wiesel II is equipped with either a 20mm auto cannon with 400 rounds, with a tow missile launcher with several missiles, and an MG3 machine gun, or with an internally carried heavy mortar system. There are also ambulance variants, mobile command, and air defense models. Additionally, the Wiesel II was outfitted with an NCB, nuclear, chemical, and biological, protection system. Despite Challenger tanks and Apaches taking the stage in modern warfare, there is one army where the humble tankette has maintained a home, the German Bundeswehr. The German armed forces still deploy tankettes in the form of the Wiesel, an armored weapons carrier that's similar to the scouting tankettes of decades past in size and function. The vehicle has proved its worth to the Bundeswehr in deployments overseas from Afghanistan to Somalia, 